dancing countdown now. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> you recording? <laughs> Put your drinks up! Come on! Let's hear you. It's time to welcome in. Prince 47. What was that noise? Prince 47. Alright guys, so reading the title, you're probably like, what? What the? What? Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but um, I know it's been like two months since the last step, but I was sort of testing my build, so uh, it took me two months to actually get everything right. Oh my god, look at the dust. <laughs> I need to vacuum that. But yeah, anyway, uh, you can see that these dust filters do work. <laughs> but yeah, uh, when you build a PC, you sort of have to take time. And I wanted to make sure I knew what I was doing before I bring you this next step. I wanted to experience the BIOS and experience the operating software. But just to let you guys know, uh, before I do continue, I did, I think you can see my PJs there, but I am wearing my PJs. There's my bed. <laughs> Still not done, what can I do? But yeah, uh, what was I going to say? <laughs> yeah, I did explore, the, uh, I did format the, the computer so I can uh, go through with you how, how it feels on first boot up, sort of. Yeah, but anyway. So uh, I think we should continue with this step. So I think this is step 14. It's been two months, so don't take my word. But uh, before you push the power button, make sure you connect your mouse and make sure it's not plugged into the 3.0 US. I was pointing here, 3.0 USB. Make sure it's uh, connected into the. I'm pointing there again. Make sure it's connected into the. Two point, make sure it's connected into the 2.0 because uh, you need to. Unfortunately, you need to install drivers to get the 3.0 working. But yeah, there's a quick preview in my build. So what you connect is bef uh, on just first build up. What you need connected is your mouse, your keyboard, and uh, your monitor, of course. So they're the three things that you need connected. And uh, connect your monitor with your VGA or HDMI. Not VGA. Why would you want VGA if you're building an extreme build? Uh, connect your monitor with a DVI or HDMI cord and uh, get ready, get ready, get ready, yeah. Now I don't know why the H80 does this but when it boots up it sort of goes to the highest setting and I think it's to cool down the CPU in initial boot but yeah uh, there's the inside of my build just give you a quick rundown of the inside of my build I don't want to show you, I don't want to show you the whole thing yet but yeah let's get started uh, is this going to turn on? Alright, so when it turns on, you'll notice that a picture does flicker and it does say uh, press a key to go into the BIOS. My one says press delete, so I click that. And this is the BIOS, this is the ASUS BIOS, uh, depends which motherboard you get, so don't take this BIOS as a reference. But you should take it as a reference. <laughs> yeah, but uh, your BIOS should have things in common if you get a Gigabyte or something else. But yeah, I've uh, got to get closer here. So I think you guys can see that. But yeah, just quickly go through your BIOS settings. I have overclocked my CPU to 4.3 gigahertz, and the temperatures do set do stay under 70 degrees on idle. I'm not on idle, on idle sort of on the lowest setting on my H80. So I do keep that there. But in initial build up, that will say auto. And yeah, just go through, look through all this stuff. And, uh, familiar, familiarize yourself with all this stuff. Um, I think I'm going to get back a bit here, but yeah, I'll get back up for you guys. So yeah, familiar yourself, familiarize yourself with this stuff, it does give you a sort of detailed uh, paragraph there. It is detailed and uh, some, 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 <laughs> it's detailed to some extent, but yeah, some other things aren't that detailed, but what can we do? So the next thing you want to look at is the information here, so make sure your bias version is actually don't worry about the BIOS version for now what do you have to make sure? make sure the CPU is the right CPU make sure it's inserted properly you will probably get some warning lights if it isn't I did get some warning lights uh, it was sort of complicated set your system date, set your system language uh, do all this stuff if you don't want to do it through Windows do it now because I think it does, no it doesn't, no did, did it? yeah I think it did stuff up for me so I had to, I had to reset it but what can I do uh, yeah here's just go through this have a quick look go through all this stuff and uh, what you really need to look forward uh, forward. What you need, really need to look for here is when I booted up my system, it said CPU fan error because there was no CPU fan connected into the motherboard because I did put them into uh, I put them into the H 
uh, the H80 CPU head, CPU head, water head. Well, <laughs> so what you have to do is go to your fan speed monitor, and for a fan CPU fan speed, put ignore if you do get the error. And this is unfocusing for some reason. But yeah, if you get that fan error, do that. Uh, it took me a while to figure that out, but I did because I'm smart. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, people. Yeah. So let's go to boot. Now this is what you want to. Really, this is where you really want to uh, pay attention. Now wait for F1 error. Turn that off because uh, if you do get an error, you you make you when you're installing Windows, you want to make sure that it does go through to install Windows, even if there is an error. I guess you can turn that on later, but it it, uh, um, it never let me boot the installation because the CPU fan there was a CPU fan error, which I explained before. So if you really want to, you can turn that off. Now when you come down here. Now uh, make sure your first boot option is your CD drive. My one is the TST Corp. Is that my CD drive? Yeah, the TST DVD. DVD. Now another reason for the long uh, wait of two months is because my Samsung Blu-ray drive is stuffed. It's not playing Blu-ray discs, and they want me to ship it to them because they're retards. Um, yeah, and another reason is I. I had troubles overclocking my CPU, but I'll get that to I'll get that uh, to you later. I'm sorry this video is dragging on, but what can we do? This tutorial, <laughs> yeah. So make sure you you your uh, TS Corp. What's the? Yeah, that's my that's my uh, DVD drive there. Yeah. So make sure that your your Corsair, if you do have an SSD, make sure that's censored and make sure you. Oh, that's just a USB. Don't worry about that. <laughs> okay, how do we get out of this? Oh, you gotta press Escape. Alright, so boot option number two, set that to your uh, boot drive, which is my SSD. And boot option number three, don't worry about that. But hard drive priorities, make sure your boot option one is the the, uh, Cor the Corsair SSD. Depends what SSD you have. And here is, don't freak out if you don't find your hard drive because it is in this option here. You got to go into um, hard drive priorities and you got to go into uh, boot option number two, and you should have it there, Kingston. Oh, not Kingston. That's oh my god! I'm gonna pull this USB out because it's really confusing me. USB's out. It will take a while. But yeah, there's my Western Digital. Is it Western Digital? Yeah, it is. There's my hard drive there. Uh, I'm sort of getting bored from this video as well. If you guys are, I'm sorry, guys. I just want to make sure all this is correct. So make sure all your your uh, your stuff are connected here. Your stuff. Make sure you got your. That's the USB. Confusing. Okay, that's your SSD. There's your hard drive. My god, the USB is there again. And there's the uh, DVD drive. So make sure your SSD, your hard drive, and your DVD drive are connected properly. Um, yeah. I think that's pretty much it. That's that's the BIOS for you. Okay. Uh, make sure your total memory is how much you installed. I installed 16 gigs, so there you go, my total memory. And it's at 1600 megahertz. So, yeah. All right, that's everything. Everything's done. You checked everything. Made sure, made sure everything's there. Now you go ahead, and no, I don't want to exit without saving. So no, you go ahead and click on this exit marker or whatever you have. If I don't know about give, give, give a byte. <laughs> I don't know about gigabyte. Uh, so yeah, you go save changes and exit, and you press yes. Now it should reload, and there I am again. So, so, <laughs> but yeah, um, it should load up. And it should say press any key to boot from CD. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Some elevator music would be good now. Waiting, waiting some more, waiting some more. Come on, don't don't flash at me like that. All right, press any key to boot from CD or DVD. Stupid DVD drive. I have no idea why this DVD drive is giving me pain, but out of the whole rig, that's probably the worst part of this rig. The reason is it's not playing Blu-ray discs. All right, Blu-ray discs. <laughs> it's not playing Blu-ray discs. Now, what's the point of buying a combo drive? It's not gonna play Blu-ray discs. I don't understand. And Samsung's just giving me so much shit lately. They told me to run to uh, this Samsung place in in Perth where I live. I went there and they're like, we don't repair drives and stuff like that, so it's a headache. All right, I'm gonna put this, don't worry about my life for now, but I'm gonna put this down. Hopefully you guys have a good, let me move the mouse. Hopefully you guys have a good, um, yeah, I'm gonna tilt this TV down. TV. <laughs>
I'm going to tilt this more. It's already tilted down. I didn't tilt it back up. Alright, there you go. Okay, so... These guys, I reckon I should just hold it. I reckon it's better if I just hold it. Alright guys, uh, language, English. Um, yeah, language, English. English, United States. No, I want English, United Kingdom. Time and currency format. I want English, Australia. Okay. Here you go. And keyboard input. I want to... Um... I don't want a US because apparently uh, England is more closer to the Australian English. So let's go Bang. They said Bengali. <laughs> Alright, I think we're going to have to go. See, this is how complicated it is to install Windows. This is why I'm doing a tutorial on how to install Windows. You know what? Let's just put US. Uh, yeah, next. Install now. There's not much difference anyway. I'm probably more, more American than uh, English. Alright, setup is starting. So I did format my uh, my my hard drive and my SSD just to let you guys know again. Okay. Now you don't want to choose upgrade if this is brand new. Of course it's brand new because you just built a new extreme rig. So you want to click custom and you want to click your SSD, which is usually the primary one, and it's got it's uh, it's got smaller size, so it's 120 gig. I don't know why 10 gigs goes from that, but yeah. Alright guys, uh, I'm going to let it install and uh, I'll be back after this short break. Do you need help building your dream rig? Inbox Leverprince47 for help. Yeah. Wobble, 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 wobble. <laughs> well, you only live once, right? So you might as well show off what you got. Uh, <laughs> during this break, I guess you can go through and uh, get all your products and this is what it should look like and uh, throw everything around and look for all the stickers now I got all the stickers and I have stuck them on and this is how it looks it's just gonna focus alright this camera come on yep this is how it looks there's the Intel one there's the Corsair one, there's the G-Skill one so yeah it's looking good I reckon <laughs> Uh, I think I chose the right pla place to put the stickers on but yeah uh, people are probably wondering oh stickers what the hell but to a PC gamer and to a PC builder stickers are sort of important because yeah it shows off what you got Republic of Gamers so straight out of like a glance from, from far you can tell that this is a gaming PC you can tell that this has like one of the highest CPUs, CPUs in it you can tell that it's run by Corsair, powered by Corsair and you can tell that it's got some RAM in it so yeah, stickers are important. So uh, anyway, back to the tutorial. See ya, peace. Okay, you're probably thinking that was lame, but that was my uh, ad break, just in case you just wanted to chuck a pee. If it was too short, uh, not my problem. But yeah, uh, it should reset, reboot, reset, uh, and it should continue with the installation just to let you guys know. Now it did complete, so what's going to happen now? I think it's going to reboot again. So I think it should reboot. Are you gonna reboot? Um, just to let you guys know, another reason why it took so long for these uh, two final steps to come out, yeah, and there is another one after this. It, it, another reason is because when I overclocked my CPU to check my gigahertz, I used to go into my computer and then right-click computer and go preferences and see what the CPU was at, and it used to always say 3.2 and it used to piss me off. And then I realized that once you do overclock your CPU, you're not supposed to check it that way. And so you're supposed to uh, download a software. So, so far I've got the Intel software. But yeah, shouldn't it be done now? Completing, not completed. Alright guys, uh, I'll be back and I'll make sure this ad break isn't an ad break. <laughs> I'll be back when it's done. So yeah. Alright guys, you're probably excited because it did say starting Windows. But it's just a trick. <laughs> There's still more installation going on. So I think we're going to have to wait for you through, through, through this. <laughs> Alright, so type in a username. I'm just going to type in my name. Ooh, he has a girl's name. No, it's not a girl's name, mate. It's the name of a superior being. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to name this what I named it uh, previously. The Beast. Because I am beauty and my PC is the Beast. Yes, we do make love. 
Alright guys, next Type a password Okay Oh my god, he typed in a password and we can't see it <laughs> Okay, this would be embarrassing if it said Passwords does, do not match Type a password hint Do I have to Ah, oh, I don't know why they do this. As if you got amnesia and you're gonna forget. What can I type in as a password hint? Hmm. 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 I seriously have no idea. So. Okay, let's see if I spelled it right. Oh, I'll put an X. That's a good one. Amnesia medication needed. Next, product key. Automatically activate Windows when I'm online. Okay, I don't have a product key. <laughs> nah, I do, but I just don't want to enter in front of you guys. Use recommended settings. Help protect your computer and improve Windows automatically. Uh, use recommended settings. Okay, so install uh, important and recommended. You just probably want to do that if you are smart. Um, I don't live in Canberra. What the hell? I live in the wonderful city of Perth. Automatically adjust clock for that. We don't even have daylight savings. They put it here in Perth for like three years and people voted it off because it's just stupid. Uh, what's the time here in Perth? It is. Look at the time. Look at the time, guys. And I'm doing this for you. For you guys. Oh, Anna, just wonderful. <laughs> Next, did I even click it? Nope. Okay, Windows 7 Ultimate. Welcome. Oh, it's done. I'm, I think it's done. Preparing your desktop. Now, don't freak out when you realise that your res isn't uh, the, the the res that you thought it would be, because you still have to uh, install your your drivers. All right, so, so, so all right, so all right, so this is done. And uh, this step is done. I hope you enjoyed this step. If you did, please like, rate, comment, favorite, and uh, most of all, please sub. And yeah, please like this so more people can see it. Uh, don't be selfish. Okay, that was a bit rude. I think of other people. Okay, that was a bit rude too. All right, <laughs> just uh, like if you want more people to see it. And I uh, appreciate all the all the things you guys have been doing for me. The views, the views are going up. The subs are going up. Uh, thanks, guys. Thanks a lot. So yeah, uh, I'll see you on the next step. Alright? See ya. See ya. Bye. The things you will need on the next step are your driver CD for your motherboard <laughs> for your graphics card and also the driver CD for your motherboard. Okay. Thanks. Bye.